so for those of you who do not know, my name is Mahogany and I'm honestly just a wife and a mom trying to make everything work. So, as you can see by the title, we have some very, very, very exciting news to share with you. We are currently pregnant, 17 weeks pregnant with baby number two. And we couldn't be more excited, y'all. Now, was this a planned pregnancy? No. No, it was not. But we know that God will never put more on us than we can handle. And although it happened when we were least expecting it, we know that through prayer, through uh, just guidance through support from our family and our friends we can get through it um like i said we're very excited for it and we genuinely cannot wait to see this little bundle of joy into the world and i'm just so excited to see rj take on his new role as a big brother like he's so aggressive yet he's so sweet yet he's so outspoken i don't know he has so many just traits to make him an amazing big brother. So I know he'll grow into the boy, the brother, the the big brother that he's supposed to be to this baby. Anyway, y'all, I'm not going to get all sentimental. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the video because I don't want this to be a really long one just because it will be majority of a sit down video. I know a lot of you are probably wondering, how did I find out I was pregnant? Well, y'all, let me just say that it might be weird to some. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But I just had this gut feeling. Like, I don't know. I didn't think I was pregnant, but at the same time, I just wasn't sure. So I said, let me take a pregnancy test. And y'all, lo and behold, that test came back positive your girl was shook y'all when i say shook shook after a while of it setting in we kind of the excitement came like i said it took a bit because we weren't expecting it we weren't actively trying to have another baby so when it happened it caught us off guard but once it set in we were excited and just seeing rj play and do what he was doing we were like yeah he's gonna be an amazing big brother but i had absolutely no symptoms y'all not one symptom so nothing told me to take a test it was just i guess you could say a woman's intuition maybe a mother's intuition you just kind of know and so i was always going back and forth maybe i am maybe i'm not so Let's just take it and let's find out. And that's exactly what I did. As far as symptoms go, y'all, after I got my positive result on November 23rd, <laughs> symptoms were crazy. I was experiencing so many different things. Compared to my last pregnancy, this pregnancy has been a whirlwind. Um, my first pregnancy with RJ, y'all, I did not experience half of these things. So this go around during the first trimester, I experienced fatigue. I experienced nausea. I'm talking about y'all sick every single day. And then I experienced severe headaches. And I'm not talking about like a headache where you can just sleep it off and you're fine. No, y'all. I'm talking about migraines. Like, you know that throbbing feel? Yes. Every single day. And I'm talking about all day long. I'm the type where I hate taking medicine when I am pregnant. Absolutely do not want to do it. But I decided, let me go ahead and take Tylenol. Because it was constant. It was every day. To the point where I could not even function um, with taking care of RJ or even catering to my husband. It was terrible. 
And so this Tylenol did not help. And I was like, something has to give. So I knew a major part of it was, of course, my hormones, my body, growing a human being. It's just, that's just the reality. Um, and then I think another part of it was the fact that I was not getting as much sleep as I did with my first pregnancy. Because, of course, when I was pregnant the first time, I didn't have to chase around a toddler. But this go-round, I do. And he still wakes up maybe once or twice in the middle of the night. So sleep was kind of non-existent. Um, I wasn't getting a full night's rest. So I really think that played a huge, huge part in um, the headaches as far as what I did to prevent it, y'all, I, I really just let it take its course. I took Tylenol, one Tylenol, every day. And thank God, once I got into the second trimester, it subsided. I still go through headaches every now and then, but it's nowhere near what it was in the first trimester. Nausea has subsided. I do not experience any nausea at all anymore. I'm always tired. I think that's just something that's going to last until I give birth. I'm going to be tired. And even and even after birth, I guess, too, I'll still always be tired. But I'm feeling a lot better now as far as symptoms go. Thank goodness. Because, y'all, I was losing my mind. <laughs> now I want to switch gears just a little bit and talk about appointments so leading up to my appointments it was it was nerve-wracking because I had the symptoms so I knew I was pregnant but it's nothing like seeing that very first ultrasound and actually seeing your baby on the screen so my very first appointment was on December 30th of 2019 and immediately, immediately, the baby popped up on the screen and the heartbeat came in, y'all, so high at 166. And, oh my goodness, I don't know how to even explain how I felt. Just know that if you aren't pregnant, but you plan to be pregnant in the future or, you know, you want to experience this feeling and you, I don't know. There's no way to explain this feeling until you go through it on your own. Y'all, it was such an overwhelming experience and not a bad experience, but like an experience where you knew that this little person growing inside of you was yours, is yours, for the rest of your life. So everything was perfect. Heart rate was good. Um, growing, was the baby was growing perfectly. Nothing seemed off, nothing seemed strange, which was great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a little clip from our very first appointment.
Now, my second appointment came in um, that following month, which was, can't talk, y'all. The next appointment came in that following month, which was January. And at this appointment, this is where things kind of became real. So um, I was uh, documented in as a high risk pregnancy because if you don't know, I did deliver my son RJ a little prematurely. And so they basically wanted to take every precautionary measure that they could with this pregnancy to ensure that it was healthy um, and that the baby stayed in as long as possible. During this appointment, this is where they talked to me about an injection known as Makina. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar, but for those of you who aren't, this is going to be a very brief you know, overview basically of what it's about because... I'm not a doctor, so I don't want to get too deep into it and maybe say the wrong thing or word it the wrong way. But basically, it's just a progesterone injection um, to keep the baby in as long as possible. At first, I was a little weary about it because, I mean, it, it's an injection being injected into my body. I wasn't sure how to feel about it. But after talking to my doctors and doing my own research and basically realizing that there's a 50 50 chance either it'll work or it won't and there were no severe side effects that came from it or no long-term effects that came from it i'm gonna go for it of course i'll keep you all updated on how that goes um i started at 16 weeks and it's going to continue all the way up until 36 weeks so it'll be 20 weeks worth of injections. They're doing it every week. Um, so yeah, if you've had experience with this or you uh, know someone who may have experienced the injection, then please feel free to comment down below about your experience. Also, if you don't want to comment down below, my email is always going to be in the description box. My social media handles are in the description box so feel free to message me privately and let me know just how everything went because I'm curious to know who it works for and who it did not so on a brighter note y'all we have officially found out the gender of baby number two if you follow me on social media then you already know the gender of the baby but if you do not drum roll please we are having a baby boy yes y'all baby boy number two and we are so excited like i said rj is just a bundle of joy like we love him he loves everything about life right now like he's in that phase where all he wants to do is play and laugh and smile and <sighs> i just know he'll make an amazing big brother especially to a little brother he'll have somebody to run around with somebody to be rough with and just have that bond it's especially with them being less than two years apart y'all i'm gonna be a mom with two under two. Oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm so excited i'm excited i'm nervous i i'm thankful i'm very grateful to go through this to be able to go through this because i know not everyone can so i'm thankful but like i said i feel like it's it's okay to be nervous so i don't beat myself up over it um i know that there will be days where it may be stressful or you know, I may feel like, oh my goodness, I just need a break, but I know that that's normal. So, I'm looking forward to this journey. I cannot wait to continue to update everyone on how things are going and just to share everything with you all. Of course, I'll keep you updated on the Makina injection. Um, I don't think there's anything else that... I needed to update you on that was basically the realm of everything um 
I don't think I mentioned that I will be getting my cervix checked every two weeks um, leading up in, to the end, I think, I believe, until the end of my pregnancy. Um, just to make sure that I'm not dilating at all, but that's pretty much it. Before you go, though, I do want to give you a little update, a little bump shot on how baby boy looks at 17 weeks or how big I look at 17 weeks. I'm definitely a lot bigger than I was with RJ around this time, which was expected. So yes, y'all. Before y'all go, I was able to get pictures of baby boy taken at 16 weeks. And y'all, immediately I fell in love. Look at him. Yes, and oh my goodness, this is only 16 weeks. So just imagine how cute he's going to be. I'm in love. Y'all, I cannot wait to just go through this journey with you all once again i'm so excited before you leave ladies like i said if you've had experience with the makina injection please leave it down below or go to my um social media handles and let me know in my messages how it worked for you thank you all so 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 much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye y'all